Some of you may have noticed changes in Studio A recently. Tuna curtains have been added to your background options. In this next segment, we will explore how they can be of use to your show. Behind me here in Studio A, you can see we have made some changes to your background options. Previously, we had three curtains available to you. The blue curtain, a white curtain, and the recently added gray curtain. We have noticed that the white curtain has gone unused for quite some time, so we recently replaced it with two new curtains that are higher quality and more versatile for your shoots. Let's take a look at these new background options. We still have our previous blue background, which adds color to your shot while keeping the background understated. We still have our previous gray background, which adds a lighter touch to your set. Our first new option is a 36-foot black curtain. Like the others, this will stretch across your entire set background. This can provide a vanishing and less distracting space behind your set or talent. Here are some examples of black backgrounds in use. You can light it differently to create different looks. Plus, more backgrounds means more options for everyone's shows to have a unique look. For an even more unique look, let's take a look at our last new curtain. We recently added the smaller, portable green screen to our studio options. This green screen creates a great background in the studio or in the field, but you may have noticed it can be difficult to fill the screen with it. If you were hoping for wider shots, our new green screen curtain is exactly what you need. Try to eliminate as many shadows as possible. Light the green screen separately from your set and eliminate any unnecessary set pieces. In our previous segments on using green screen, we showed you that you can superimpose an image onto the green right in Studio A. So what can you do with the green screen, you ask? Plenty of things, like this, or this, or this, or later in the editing process using Final Cut Pro. They will both produce the same result, it just depends on whether you want to do the work during the shoot or during the editing process. Now you can produce unlimited backgrounds with whatever footage, graphic, or still photo you would like behind your set. Here are some examples of what you could create with the green screen on your show. Lastly, as with all curtains, please be careful when pulling them around the track. If caught on something, they could easily tear and the repairs are costly. If you have any questions about implementing green screen in the studio or in Final Cut Pro, watch our previous segment from our May-June 2012 episode online on Vimeo or YouTube or ask your friendly SCC staff.